to a new appointment with uh, Get Familiar with uh, today dedicated to the Bio uh, Hysteroscope. The Bio is the integrated office uh, hysteroscope and it's the evolution of uh, the classic generation of scopes. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's, the, uh, it's made by an handle, an handle um, where are concentrate all the connection that usually in the previous scope were around the sheath and around the operative channel. We have uh, first the two valves that control the inflow and the outflow here. And uh, th this is the light cable connection and this is the so-called monoblock uh, connector. The monoblock connector is nothing else than the place where you will uh, connect this adapters that for the moment it's in metal therefore separate from the uh, tubing set but in the near future will be included into the tubing sets. This is absolutely easy or the easiest way to connect your scope plugging in and that's it. Here you have the light cable so all the weight belongs and all the connection belongs from the bottom of the handle. So you will handle the scope in this way, not like a weapon here, but simply in this way, controlling the inflow and the outflow like this. Okay, so this is, you see the, how easy it is to remove the connector. You cannot put upside down because one, the two connectors, ha they have a different size, as you can see in the video. So only one way of connection. This makes everything very easy. Another characteristic is that the uh, operative channel here do not present any stopcock. This is why, because we have an automatic valve with a, a membrane inside. So you can retract the instrument or insert the instrument without losing liquid thanks to these new rubber seals here. And the final point, we have only one sheath being the lens included in what before was considered the internal sheath. You see here you have the lens and the operative channel on the top. This is our scope totally disassembled. You see this is the main body with the handle that includes the uh, optics, the instrument channel that is also the inflow channel, the light cable and the monoblock connector plus the two holes where you will insert the valves, then the outer sheath, the two valves, the stopcock and one of our instruments. So it's very easy to assemble. You see this is the sheath with the new mechanism, very easy to use and very stable, like a click line system. Then we have our valves where that are with a screw like this and finally our rubber seals our automatic valve easy simple much simple than the other previous scope and much resistance to any let's say trauma this is our scope so you see it's an advance in terms of handling an advance in terms of reduction of the diameter because here we have 3.75 millimeters instead of the four of the classic uh, hysteroscopes. Uh, you don't need uh, all the weight of the connection. It's concentrated in the lower part here, the inflow and the outflow, as you saw, and the light cable. So when you have the instrument in your hands, it's very stable and very easy to work with. And with these two valves, you control the in and the out very easily. This is obviously the perfect companion of the easy pump uh, and, and it's been designed also to get the maximum advantages from the pump. In fact the uh, uh, on-off system belongs from the fact that this scope has been studied to work preferably with the, with the easy pump. So it doesn't need any uh, let's say uh, personal control of the inflow and the outflow as done by many colleagues uh, on the classic office hysteroscopes. Regarding cleaning, maintenance and sterilization, it's very easy 
uh, you just disassemble the different parts, uh, as we said, immediately after the procedure without losing time, because if you lose time, if you leave the scopes on the table for minutes or maybe for uh, half an hour, the mucus, the blood, whatever it's around the scope will stick around the, the lens and into the channel. Here, if you go immediately under the water, use your fingers instead of, of a brush. It will be more delicate. You will not uh, eliminate any superficial metal here. And if you want, you can buy also a special case designed particularly for the bio, where you have connectors that goes inside the inflow and the outflow here inside the monoblock connectors and inside the operative channel. And you can get the continuous forced flow uh, of sterilization into the scope. We are at the end of this video, get familiar with. I hope the information and the suggestion I shared with you will be helpful in the daily practice. See you in the next video. Thank you.